Advent, December 22nd, 2023. Golden Repair. Hebrews chapter 1 verses 5 through 14. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9. Imagine encountering new information that threatens to break your faith and wrestling with how to put the pieces back together. Jesus' prophetic voice and radical practices challenged orthodoxy so significantly that the author of Hebrews is practically adding a disclaimer to this scripture, as if to say, this sounds impossible, but it's true. The author helps to establish Jesus' credibility by comparing him to the angels that bear important news from God. In this pericope, the author assures us that Jesus' word is superior to angels, alluding to the angel that delivered the Ten Commandments to Moses. Examining the scripture through the lens of the Advent season, what might the author of Hebrews want us to consider about the reign of Jesus? Consider the myriad differences between Moses' Ten Commandments and Jesus' Beatitudes. If Moses emphasized faithfulness through adherence to law, Jesus upends law itself by subverting our expectations of what righteousness, faithfulness, and salvation look like. The Japanese art of kintsugi, or golden repair, is the practice of repairing broken pottery with real gold. Philosophically, it is believed the pieces are made more beautiful by repair than by perfection. Jesus' Beatitudes shows us that when we reach to God for golden repair in our low moments, in our persecution, in our grief, we are blessed by becoming better disciples and are transformed into a more beautiful creation. This Advent season, I invite you to meditate on the golden repair offered by Christ. What did golden repair mean for Mary as she sought shelter for her broken, laboring body? What did golden repair mean for the ancient world that God broke into through Jesus? What does golden repair mean for the world that God breaks into through you today? Courtney Lipke, Director of Admissions.